Hello everyone. Welcome to Dentium Live Surgery Show. I am Sang Chol Lim, periodontist and private practitioner in Seoul. I am very excited to join in at this live surgery as a moderator. It is held every month. Uh, this is fifth time in 2020. Now we have a very uh, tough situation uh, due to COVID-19 pandemic. I hope our all colleagues are healthy and are safe. Today, Dr. Lee Sung Gun is having a surgery on upper anterior aesthetic area. It is my great pleasure to introduce uh, Dr. Lee. Uh, Dr. Lee Sung Gun uh, graduated uh, Seoul National University uh, Dental School. He is awarded PhD in Department of Dental Biomaterial Science uh, Seoul National University. Now he is working in the School of Dentistry at Seoul National University as a part-time faculty. He is also the director of Korean Academy of Aesthetic Dentistry and the director of Korean Academy of Implant Dentistry. Today he is showing us very interesting uh, technique for simultaneous GBR and implantation. But also, we can see very interested uh, situation for making uh, control augmentation on panic area. I hope uh, this live surgery helps you in developing your treatment skills and concepts. If you have any questions uh, during live surgery, uh, click and write in chat box. Uh, we will reply it. Okay. Uh, Let's move to the operation room. Uh, Dr. Lee maybe have some comments before the operation. Dr. Lee. Hello, everybody. My name is Sengun Lee. I graduated a dental school of Seoul National University 2000 and got a degree of PhD 2006. I have a small private practice in Seoul, South Korea. Before the coronavirus, I lectured often nationally and internationally. I'm very excited. You are watching my live surgery on early implant placement at the aesthetic zone. I will do a implant placement at tooth number 11 and do a bone augmentation at tooth number 21, panic sign. And this is a live surgery for the excellent implant company, Dentium. So thank you for giving me a chance. Now, start the surgery. Good luck. Okay, let's take a look at the today's case. Uh, first of all, I'm going to case, uh, case preview uh, today's case. Uh, early implant placement in the aesthetic zone. As you can see, uh, the patient, 75 years old male patient, uh, his chief complaint was, I want to have an implant uh, surgery consultation about uh, on my anterior, upper anterior area. Uh, Non-specific past medical history and also uh, the, uh, nothing happened that before the surgery anymore. Uh, past dental history about the upper anterior area Extraction number 11 and 21, uh, February 25th, 2000, uh, 2020, uh, this year, 2020, this year. So, about the surgery plan, uh, Dr. Lee is going to have uh, implant placement on the 11, number 11 area with the uh, uh, GBR procedure. And also, he is going to have uh, uh, 21, number 21 area. Uh, with the uh, GBR procedure with tunneling technique, a very interesting uh, technique will be uh, shown to you. About, uh, uh, also, he, is, he will use uh, Austin 3 collagen for this uh, tunneling technique. So, uh, this intraoral view, uh, intraoral photos, uh, when the patient came to the Dr. Lee's clinic at the first visit, as you can see, uh, number 11 uh, tools. Uh, had have a big uh, decays and uh, poor uh, periodontal condition. Also, uh, number 21 
tools have uh, a crowding uh, with uh, a big recession, a gingiva recession. Uh, he have already number 22 area with the uh, implant. Uh, this one is uh, that the panoramic view uh, at the first visit. So about the CT scan, the what about this CT, uh, CT scan, the number 11 uh, site? Uh, we have to consider uh, the axis of tools, number 11 uh, tools, uh, very stiff, and the apex areas are almost uh, denudation, maybe normal bone, uh, labial bone plate. About the number 21 area, uh, totally different uh, tools uh, axis. Uh, compared to a previous one, number 11 area, as you can see. So, uh, like this kind of case, uh, we have to consider uh, drilling position and drilling direction when we have uh, uh, implant installation upper anterior area. According to this uh, uh, tooth axis and the remaining bone. Uh, this one is uh, the portal, intraoral portal, uh, when the uh, number 21 and number 11 uh, site extracted. And the patient got the uh, SX retainer uh, during healing stages. Uh, this panoramic view is uh, uh, the after uh, healing situation. Uh, maybe two months later, after extraction, number 11 and number 21 site the already uh, healed. Uh, it is very nice. It is good for uh, implant installation. Now, uh, this CT scan is very important and good information to have a, a treatment and surgical plan. As you can see, number 11 area, uh, socket uh, healing. Uh, can you remember? Uh, this uh, tooth actually is very steep. So, uh, the socket already healed, but are still remaining very thin labial cortical bone uh, layer. Uh, this bone plate, the, it is uh, not reliable, as you know, so we have to consider how can we deal with uh, this kind of thin labial bone plate layer uh, with uh, uh, implantation, simultaneous GBR uh, site uh, surgery. Okay, uh, this one is number 21 uh, site already a uh, socket healed, uh, but not fully uh, convert to newborn formation, but it is enough to have uh, implant installation, right? But uh, today, uh, Dr. Lee have uh, only one uh, implant installation at the number 11 site, cause of uh, not enough to have uh, uh, two implant uh, installed cause of uh, on this uh, edentulous area, right? Uh, why this kind of situation was happened? Cause of uh, clouding. Uh, clouding, number 21 tools already have a clouding, so it is not enough uh, to implant installation. So Dr. Lee have a plan, uh, one implantation, one implant fixture on 11 site and have a a uh, totally three unit breeze uh, with the implant uh, supported. Uh, that was uh, Dr. Lee's plan, okay? So uh, this, uh, this portals, the uh, healing portals, uh, maybe two months later, yeah, right? Uh, two months later after extraction. So as you can see, soft tissues, uh, ret uh, retractions, uh, very uh, a big defect on number 21 site as you can see, so big recession of soft tissues and a big defect still remain around there. So uh, we, need, we, need to, we need to consider a GBR procedure when we have uh, implant surgery, right? Okay, uh, this one is uh, another case, similar case, not today's case, but uh, we, I, I'm, I'm gonna introduce about this similar case cause of more clear understanding uh, today's uh, live surgery. So uh, can you see this uh, number uh, 11 and uh, 21 site also extract? Uh, number 11, number 21, number 22 extract and uh, install two implant 
and two implants supported, three unit uh, final prosthetics uh, was done uh, with the uh, GBR procedure uh, tunneling technique using Austin tree block. So uh, this one is a uh, tunneling technique, the very um, uh, familiar and uh, very uh, the interesting technique to make uh, vertical augmentation when we have uh, uh, especially aesthetic site, especially panic area is very useful technique. As you can see, two vertical incision for uh, making a space and uh, releasing, making a space, uh, separating the periosteum from the bone, labial bone plate, and make enough space using uh, the different kind of uh, instrument and uh, making enough uh, space is very essential, important part to make uh, uh, new bone formation, right? So, and uh, pulling down uh, soft tissues, as you can see, the upward, right? So, uh, this um, uh, downward uh, direction, and then uh, put the, some graft material into this pouch. And that's it, very simple, very useful, uh, very predictable uh, uh, procedure. So, uh, when you have uh, this tunneling procedure, uh, this kind of graft material is very useful. Osteon tree block or Osteon tree collagen are very useful and very popular uh, graft materials. Uh, Dr. Lee is very, uh, uh, he is, uh, yeah, he's, he, he wants to use, or he wants to use today also the Osteon tree collagen. So uh, healing photos and healing stages after three months and uh, final restoration with a custom abutment with a zirconia, right? So uh, uh, can you see the number 21 area, the panic area, very nice, uh, well done on gingerbread molding. So uh, unfortunately, uh, between the uh, incisor, central incisor area, so soft tissue is not fully uh, covered with this, uh, the space, so uh, small black triangles uh, happen. Okay, this one is final processes, right? And the uh, CT view after the processes with the uh, uh, implant connect with the custom abutment with the zirconia processes. As you can see, uh, what about the labial area, uh, newborn formation? I think a very nice and well done newborn formation uh, situation, especially a uh, labial portion of uh, this implant installation. So, uh, well done and very nice, fully integrated uh, newborn formation, uh, fully integrated with the implant fixture with the bone. And very nice, well organized, uh, this uh, custom abutment with the final restoration, right? So, okay, let's move to uh, operation room for uh, seeing the today's live surgery. Uh, Dr. Lee, are ready? Okay. The patient is uh, prepared. Patient, patient is ready. So he's measured uh, using this uh, periodontal probe, uh, measuring uh, the width and uh, he checked the keratinized gingiva. So now he is considered about the which area is best position to make a vertical incision the, uh, for the, the pouch technique, the tunneling technique. So, okay, now he's uh, removed the screw with a screwdriver uh, for the temporization, removing, uh, for preparing the anterior implantation surgery. So I already mentioned about uh, this soft, soft oh. tissue healing site. Uh, slightly, uh, uh, okay. yeah, as you can see, number 21 area have some depression, but uh, it is not, uh, it is, uh, it is not too bad cause of these areas will be panic, right? Panic area. So, 
serbo crystal incision. Okay. Uh, Dr. Side. Lee is uh, starting to make incision. Circular incision. Okay. The circular incision. In the aesthetic area, there are small tools on anterior area, so I use a usually use microblade. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he prefer use microblade cause of uh, less trauma, the small uh, trauma and small uh, scar. He want to make a small and uh, minimize uh, the incision uh, scar and incision trauma. So uh, he mentioned about microblade. And make a vertical incision. Yeah, vertical incision, uh, the distal of side of canine area, right, okay. Uh, make a definite terrestrial incision, I use a Periodontal knife, open knife. Yeah, he like uh, use. He love to Expression. use Orban's uh, periodontal knife. Already yeah. tooth extraction before two months ago. Okay. So there are very weak soft tissue. Yeah, it is Be not careful. mature, not mature the soft tissue. Not so uh, he uh, handling the gentle with gentle handling. Uh, using this uh, instrument. So actually, Oban and I, everybody, every periodontist, every uh, dentist want to use uh, use this Oban knife uh, when they have uh, the periodontal surgery or implant surgery. So very useful and important uh, instrument when you have uh, uh, incision and reflection, right? And uh, changing, uh, he is changing the instrument to okay using the small round uh, two syllable and 21 area uh -huh. there are bone deficiency so okay. we need i need a vertical augmentation uh -huh. to 21 and to 11 yeah so uh yeah he's one to he want he want to have a vertical augmentation number 21 area a cause of, uh, even though these areas will be funny but uh, he want uh, it make better better aesthetic result so uh, he want to try uh, the vertical augmentation number 21 area right so now he is uh, the prep reflection the, with the small round the peristeal curette. Okay. The holding uh, soft tissues so with the uh, uh, bone the augmentation and implant placement. I need a poor thickness plate. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, he mentioned about poor thickness prep. Uh, when we have uh, implant installation, the poor Thickness prep is a necessary part and the basic, uh, right? So after full uh, thickness prep reflection, uh, we can do uh, some another procedure like a GBR and drilling or some uh, harvesting uh, autogenous bone and all of our uh, procedures uh, can be uh, done, right? So. The prep reflection with the full thickness prep is first the step uh, for the uh, proper procedure uh, for the uh, implant surgery. The ordinary ordinary side thing, uh, as you can see, the canine area have a big depression. is a natural situation, right? So the canine, the apex area have a big depression. Uh, canine posa uh, is uh, the anatomical landmark and uh, also around this uh, area 
uh, big depressions and big defect will be happen to see occasion the underlying bone defect mm -hmm. we need more crystal incision yeah he need more he need more we need some he need more some more incision left. Now he is very gentle, uh, plap the handling. Now he is uh, very uh, gentle, plap handling. Now he is going, now he is doing the plap gentle handling, cause of anterior area. Aesthetic areas, uh, top and the uh, thorough uh, plap uh, handling, the finally cause to a scar. I will change right? the treatment mm -hmm. protocol to make up wide and big flap for vertical bone augmentation. Mm -hmm. Let me see the bone defect. Yeah, we can see there the bone defect. There are horizontal and vertical bone deficiencies. Yeah. And so the socket we, is make not healed, unhealed situation, right? Number mm -hmm. 11 area. The soft tissues are healed, but uh, so cat is not completely filled with a new one formation. Cause of just uh, two months later, uh, after extraction, it is not enough time to uh, make a fully uh, the forming a new one formation on the socket, right? So just only have a, a soft tissue a healing a situation when you have a two months later after extraction. So why two months later? have a uh, why two months later when you have uh, this uh, socket area uh, we don't uh, we uh, we have to consider about uh, implant surgery time point right uh, enough and sufficient bone with this okay uh, bone with this is a sufficient bone bone with this is enough let me show you. Yeah, okay. enough bone, about nine millimeter. Yeah, bone, bone width is, is nine millimeter. It's sufficient, a very nice condition of width. Yeah. Yeah, cortical bone plate is still uh, remaining there. Uh, this cortical bone plate uh, still survive. So it is very nice, uh, very uh, good uh, situation for. Uh, implant installation as you can see so yeah, bony cone cavity mm -hmm. here so we will meet okay maybe we will meet bone penetration okay yeah okay. he is uh, checking drilling. the starting point with the Lindemann drill okay he is starting uh, drill with the Lindemann the uh, Rinderman is very useful devices, as you know. So the proper positioning I and using this Rinderman and making uh, proper uh, direction, especially on entry area. Okay. Right? So uh, he is uh, using this drill extension, especially on anterior area implantation. Uh, frequently, we have to use a drill extension cause of. Uh, uh, this neighbor natural uh, tools, natural teeth, uh, inhibit a proper direction, right? So uh, we need the drill extension. Uh, that is why drill extension. So uh, free from uh, this, uh, the inhibition uh, from the neighbor uh, natural teeth, uh, we can get the proper direction, a uh, proper two position. Prosthetic option number one. Uh, SCRP type screw retain bridge and another one is a cement type implant bridge. Okay, now he is using a dentium guide kit, a spacer. This blue rubber ring means final lacerations diameter. So this number 11 area, central incisor. So the ordinary we can use around eight millimeter, right? So eight millimeter. Sometimes so depend on the space. Let me show you the and eight millimeter, nine millimeter. The blue colored lower 
position. around uh, a spacer is very useful, the proper positioning when you have uh, implant installation. Number 21 implant, mm -hmm. was your cement retained single implant restoration? Mm -hmm. Already uh, uh, this uh, 21 implant already installed uh, at this uh, site. So uh, the doctor re uh, checking uh, the parallel the neighbor uh, implant. So already installed number 21 have uh, like this kind of direction. Uh, okay. This uh, direction uh, is uh, good for the cementation type of final restoration. But anyway, Dr. Lee uh, checking the pass Rose with the uh, ready installed neighbor implant fixture and uh, making uh, okay. a drill, right? Okay. So, uh, can you see uh, no irrigation? Now he is uh, uh, not use uh, saline irrigation. So it means lower speed, like uh, uh, 50 RPM, uh, doesn't need any more saline irrigation, right? So uh, that is why uh, we cannot see the saline irrigation situation. Irrigation. Okay, so uh, Dr. Lee picks, uh, Dr. Lee picks uh, this uh, parallel pin direct to the already installed neighbor number 21 site implant picture and checking uh, this number 11 site. Okay, the bone widths and uh, uh, depths and direction, all three dimensional, uh, uh, three dimensional the direction is very important to make uh, final lastrations is better. Implant supine four zero ten. Okay, diameter diameter four point zero ten millimeter length. Uh, supine implant fixtures uh, installed is installed a supine implant fixture, right? So when we have uh, uh, implantation, especially anterior area, as you can see, we have to consider a three-dimensional position, right? So vocolingually, the major distally and direction, and uh, apicocoronally, right? All of these uh, uh, direction and uh, position is very important to get the final uh, better, uh, best uh, uh, restoration, right? So, um, just a, a brief review about this uh, three-dimensional position. Vocolingually, as you as you know, almost three uh, millimeter. Uh, oh, sorry, two sorry, millimeter try. is essential Anony. part uh, from the two from the lip, uh, the outer surface of implant fixture, right? I think I change. I have to change the plane because the panic area, soft tissue is very uh, weak. So maybe I will tear out the soft tissue. So instead of tunneling, mm -hmm. I change treatment plan, traditionally GBR technique. Okay. So he is changing, he is changing the treatment plan. When we, uh, when he have a, a treatment plan, okay. at the first plan. time, actually a tunneling Maybe procedure for the vertical, the augmentation Dr. using osteo He already know the treatment plan. Okay. So flat. Extension. Okay. The horizontal incision yeah. line is extended until a number 21 implant already uh, installed area. Cause of uh, this big yeah. uh, horizontal incision is necessary part to make uh, 
the conventional type GBR procedure. So uh, he is going to change the treatment plan. I have a plan B. Yeah. The, uh, he, yeah, he is want to, he want to have a GBR procedure, conventional GBR procedure instead of tunneling a procedure, right? So uh, the reason is a weak uh, immature mm -hmm. uh, soft tissues on number 21 area. So just a two vertical incision and making a spaced uh, procedure uh, during uh, the tunneling procedure, uh, he is worried about this soft immerture of the tissues tears out for uh, the, the gone away. So it is very uh, difficult situation. Yeah. So uh, he is changing to a treatment the plan, the GBR procedure, right? It's a baby, Austin collagen 2. Uh huh. Osteo collagen two. Ten years ago, I used uh, osteo collagen wow. two. Wow. Two year, uh, ten years ago, two. Uh, this osteo two collagen. So this is a ten year old osteo two collagen. Oh, ten year old uh, osteo two collagen is uh, there. Uh, still survive the there. Immediate wow. implant. Very interesting situation. Uh, I never seen so a ten year old osteo two collagen. Uh, with a particulated uh, situation, I never seen it. so uh, very interesting. So ten now years, you see uh, two. Right? ten year old. Yeah, good, uh, very uh, very strong and stiff, stiff. Yeah, yeah, yeah good enough to implant installation. If he want to have an implant installation at this site, uh, it is no and no more this area. Uh, no more problems at there For cause of uh, the a strong already uh, fully integrated <laughs> new formation at this site. So okay, the bone surface is irregular because okay. of osteon two collagen. Okay, so he is trying to already make a space. Uh, between well, the uh, outer surface of the uh, radial bone and the uh, periosteum. So why he want to make uh, this space? Numero. Because of uh, holding a graft materials after this the procedure. Area, right? Have a good blood mm -hmm. supply. Right, yeah. Uh, he mentioned about the blood supply uh, for mucosa area. So uh, he make a space. And this area is another our main surgical site. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. So he make uh, a big space. Suction. Like a modified tunneling uh, technique style. So it is not traditional uh, original type uh, tunneling technique, but he is slightly modified. Uh, no vertical incision. But uh, he uh, tried to make a space Flexion. underneath uh, this uh, number 21 implant uh, installed area. So in future, maybe uh, he want to make uh, some uh, uh, graft materials. He want to make some uh, augmentation uh, using uh, graft materials underneath this mucosal plaque, uh, number 21 area. So uh, slightly, right? So uh, we can see granulation tissue around this already installed number 21 implant fixture area. So what does it mean? Uh, maybe uh, this one I is uh, yeah, inflammation situation uh, due to number, number 21, right? So some... Or uh, deep or stop. Okay. Go or stop. Okay, you have to decide, you have to decide depths of uh, this implant picture. Everybody knows about the CEJ. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. This so is the clinical crown. Yeah. So implant platform must be placed under the 3 millimeter under okay. the CEJ. Okay, right. So, so yeah. the position, the top portion top portion, platform no. top portion of implant fixture uh, should be located deeper. under the 3 millimeter from the CEJ neighbor TS. It is uh, uh, the normal uh, landmark. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, here was a slightly deep insertion caused yeah. a, a three millimeter from the CZ. Uh, this one is uh, apical coronal position, proper apical coronal, coronal position, point. right? According to a three dimensional position, especially on this an uh, anterior aesthetic area. This is I the tibia abut okay. abutment for space making. Mm -hmm. Okay, now he is uh, want to use a tibia abutment with a uh, titanium this? plate for the bone this graft is, is material holding. Implant right? position. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are only one size mm -hmm. of tibial abutment. Gingival mm -hmm. height is just two millimeter. Yeah, so a tibial abutment have a two millimeter. I want more shallow gingival height implant position. So uh, he slightly retrieve implant position cause of connect with uh, a tibial abutment, right? A tibial okay. abutment have only one gingival height, two millimeter. So the proper connection, uh, Dr. Lee is slightly retrieve implant fixture for the proper connection with the GBR abutment, right? So Oops. to finally connect with the GBR abutment where the implant fixture already installed number 11 area, right? So anyway, top portion, the platform of uh, implant fixture should be located underneath uh, the three millimeter, under three millimeter, under the CJ of neighbor natural tears, right? So, uh, can you see this uh, CJ of uh, canine? Uh, sorry, the retinal incisor area. Okay. This is a uh, bone. Some of a uh, big defect, big depression around this uh, the retinal incisor area also, right? So after connecting. After connect with GBR uh, abutment, and uh, uh, he will use this is a GBR, yeah, GBR plate. Uh, this is a titanium plate. Yeah, and he gonna use titanium plate. Cutting. Uh, this uh, dentium titanium plate and GBR abutment is uh, uh, the very useful devices uh, for the conventional GBR procedure. Uh, very strong, uh, these uh, devices gave us a very strong uh, stability okay. and uh, space making abilities, right? So, uh, the non contained defect situation, one or two will defect, or in some case, for the vertical augmentation, this, uh, the GBR abutment with uh, titanium mesh is very uh, useful. I will fix this. This is this GBR plate. Okay, cut using this uh, GBR plate. The uh, make a proper size, screw. cover all these uh, uh, the bone making area, right? So cut and bend, cut and bend. Uh, now he is trimming, cutting and trimming, and finally uh, the bending. There is a titanium plate, a GBR plate, for holding the graft material and the making a space for a new one formation around this uh, big defect area. So it is uh, another, yeah, this, th uh, this uh, treatment options are uh, plan B uh, for the Dr. Lee Seung Gun, right? The number one, mm -hmm. uh, plan A was uh, tunneling Tunneling technique more easier than uh, this uh, the traditional GBR uh, style GBR uh, procedure, but now uh, he have changed uh, treatment options treatment procedure uh, cause of uh, weak immature uh, soft tissues around number twenty one socket area, right? Right. So now he is using uh, abutment GBR abutment and GBL uh, plate with a titanium, right? Uh, connect 
uh, each other so for proper position, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, one interesting uh, question is here. Dr. Ota have uh, uh, give us a question. Have it done socket preservation when 11 and 12, uh, 21 extraction? Yeah, okay. uh, maybe okay. not. Uh, he didn't have any uh, socket preservation technique. Right. Uh, when you have a socket preservation technique, uh, proper implant okay. implantation time point uh, will be uh, after four months. Minimum four months should be wait uh, when you have a socket preservation technique cause of uh, uh, bone uh, maturing. Right, bone graft material is maturing. So uh, this time point, two months uh, after extraction. So two months is not enough uh, time point uh, when you have a socket preservation. Right, socket preserv If you have a socket preservation technique, you have to you wait. You should wait cutting uh, about four months break. minimum. Four months minimum. Right. And uh, cause of uh, uh, socket healing with uh, newborn formation. But in this case, uh, he didn't uh, oh, socket preservation. So now, uh, two months after extraction, he is and doing uh, the GBR procedure with the implantation, right? Augmentation. Okay, now here is uh, mm. the peristyle releasing incision cause of uh, fully recovered this uh, defected area. A flap extension, the peristyle releasing incision uh, between the periosteum and uh, uh, this uh, mucosa of the tissues uh, separate Good. each other is essential part. Cover. Cover all of this uh, uh, grafting area. Okay. Yeah. Using this uh, number 15 scalpel, uh, very gentle, uh, slightly, uh, slightly cutting and cutting, cutting. But when you have uh, this uh, peristyle releasing incision, you have to use this uh, cotton plier flap. like a pincet, the holding Pinch the up. outer portion of the flap and the pulling, pull it out and then just cut, 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 uh, very gentle and slightly. It is very important procedure Check the uh, without the, the soft tissue penetration, right? Uh, uh, some wrong position of a scalpel or a tough uh, scalpel uh, the manipulation uh, okay. will be a soft tissue uh, perforation. So it is very, uh, it is a not, good, uh, a not good situation. Uh, for covering uh, underneath these uh, graft materials, as you know. So, uh, avoiding uh, this uh, soft tissue penetration, you have to use uh, this uh, 15 scalpel, very gentle, uh, uh, very uh, gentle and slightly. Any question? Mm -hmm. Okay. So actually, I I want to have uh, some okay. uh, question about this procedure to uh, Doctor uh, Teddy uh, Teddy Teddy Re Doctor Re calls up uh, all of these procedures are for the conventional uh, GBR procedure, as you can see. So now he is bone trimming and uh, all, removing all of granulation tissues, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I will apply Three yeah, he is. Uh, Firstly, yeah, he is going to use osteon osteon three collagen. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Hit the jokut. Handling property. One of the most important things. See the defect through the through the titanium matrix. Mm -hmm. Now he's now he is use now now he he is going to use this osteum three collagen material. So this osteum three collagen is very versatile and useful uh, alloplastic wrapped materials, as you know, uh, worldwide use. Uh, by the uh, many uh, dentists, these are graft materials items. Uh, the lovely, uh, the uh, lovely item for a uh, GVR procedure. I really love these uh, Austin three collagen materials. When I have always prepared, when I have a GVR procedure, I always prepare these uh, Austin three collagen graft material. Uh, very nice. Oh, it is very easy to mold. Close. Epic earlier, mm -hmm. I will do tunneling. Mm -hmm. I will show you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Lee, how did you, how did you, yeah. titanium plate how are you going to use, size, deal with so this number uh, 23 epic position? Dr. Lee, may I have a ask, may I have a question? Uh, I'm wondering about uh, this tunneling technique cause of uh, number 23 areas uh, should be uh, filled with the graft materials, right? Through this area. Uh, it is your options. Uh, how do you want to deal with this uh, apical portion of uh, number 23? Okay. Mm. So. Prepare. Okay, so, okay, 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 uh, I see, I see. Uh, his plan uh, was, uh, yeah, okay. We have, uh, we have something in common. We have something in common between Dr. Lee and I. So I already mentioned about this uh, tunneling, modified tunneling uh, procedures. Uh, he is trying to uh, bone grafting uh, underneath this number 23 area. So, okay. Yeah. That was my uh, curious uh, portion, but uh, now uh, I'm satisfied about this, uh, my question uh, from this procedure. Okay, good, very nice. So all of the graft materials uh, should be allocated, uh, all of these uh, depicted areas uh, from the number 23 until uh, till this number, uh, number 11. Uh, 11, 12, right? So uh, he used he used Austin tree collagen uh, graft material. This versatile uh, uh, graft material is very uh, uh, useful cause of uh, moldable, easy molding, and holding all graft materials. Uh, the collagen binder holding. Uh, this hold this uh, osteon free okay. particulated bone so it is not scattered anymore not scattered anymore right can you see all the graft materials the located concentrate the contained uh, this uh, depicted area right cause of uh, holding devices what is holding uh, materials collagen so all these uh, collagens holding all the graft material was to be the particle, the particle. So uh, it is not scattered on I use the other membrane side. And in dry more. condition because it, I use a stiffness of collagen membrane. Okay. Like this one. Okay. Separate. Yeah. Bone graft material. And uh -huh. uh, we have. Uh, 
We have something in common. We have something in common between Dr. Lee and I. So I, I always use uh, this collagen material like this uh, dried site. Under the collagen, membr collagen membrane and yeah. under the flap. Yeah. When I have uh, using this collagen, dentium collagen membrane materials, uh, dried uh, condition, trim, dried condition, Just put this membrane the on the surgery membrane. site and uh, soak with the blood like this one, right? So it is enough. Uh, this uh, kind of usage is uh, more uh, a lot of benefit. When you have a uh, soak with the saline before the using this color membrane, membrane the uh, stiffness is uh, uh, the less stiff, less stiff compared to the dried condition. So I prefer to use this color membrane always uh, the dried condition. The curing area. Okay, so. When we have uh, uh, the soft tissue tearing, as you can see, uh, when we have uh, a lilacin incision separating periosteum the, from the upper plaque, so uh, we got like this uh, extensor uh, population. The everybody, everyone have uh, this uh, situation. So don't worry about it. As you can see, a population should be sutured. Uh, can be sutured like this, uh, this method, right? So first the suture and uh, graft again and going okay. through the another okay. procedure, right? So, uh, yeah, he is checking the prep. Okay, so you're checking okay. the flap. Check the flap, okay. So already know, we already see, we already saw this uh, collagen membrane and the titanium uh, plate combination. So uh, this dentium, the titanium plate gave us uh, a space making, big uh, space, right? like this situation, we can get the vertical augmentation uh, from this uh, strong enough uh, titanium uh, meshes. And also, sometimes we can use this collagen membrane this cover area. the top portion of uh, titanium mesh. I use vertical matrix suture. Yeah, he is uh, using the vertical matrix suture. Why he uh, used this uh, collagen membrane on the titanium mesh, titanium plate? So uh, when you have a collagen membrane with a, col a titanium plate, uh, we can get more uh, newborn formation compared to a single usage of a titanium mesh, right? Uh, cause of this collagen membrane uh, gave us uh, the barrier right. uh, function. So uh, just underneath graft material is easy to turn into a uh, newly forming bone. So I imagine uh, other patient is uh, very needed. I strongly suggest to you, if you want to have a titanium plate like this situation, uh, sure. collagen membrane uh, should be covered top portion of a titanium uh, plate, right? It is a better, make it better a situation. Let me see. Okay. A better uh, bone formation situation. So now he is uh, the trying to uh, finishing line uh, with, uh, uh, with uh, suturing. Now first one, a horizontal mattress su mm. suture. Horizontal mattress suture is essential part when you have a GVR procedure. Uh, cause of this horizontal mattress mm -hmm. suture, a tight, Oreo. intimate a flap closure gave us a tight, intimate flap closure. It is able to get the intimate, tight the flap closure. So uh, sometimes uh, we can avoid a flap open uh, during the healing stages, right? So enough. 
uh, separation, enough releasing incision, enough separation uh, between periosteum and uh, upper soft tissues. And number one, number one, first important uh, part, and suture, suture technique is important suture. also. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna use another horizontal mattress sutures, yeah. Okay. The almost done. Uh, this um, number eleven, number twenty-one. Your socket side. Now the vertical incision okay. line is a remained. Okay, he is one more uh, suture, uh, trying to one more suture. Okay, another interesting uh, the question is here, what type of bone is ideal? were preferable for you to they use in these cases. Of Actually, surgery. for me, uh, I, I always PAS try to principle. try to use uh, written by okay. home professor Hong Rei Wang. Okay. Oh, oops. Uh, he's tried to another sutra. Okay. When I have a, a GBR procedure the on upper anterior area, I always try to layer technique, the according to Dr. He Daniel Buzer the from Swiss. Now, Dr. Daniel Buzer get uh, gave oh, us yeah. a lot of and evidence and about uh, layer S technique. Layer technique means inside in the layer means contact to the implant site areas uh, should be covered by autogenous bone and the outer portion. Uh, covered by uh, the alloplastic materials like Austin 3, Austin 3 collagen. So this uh, successful uh, this uh, it's like layer a technique is a good benefit. Lots of favors to us. Gave us a lot of favor, right? So if you want a cubic shape ice, mm -hmm. you need a cubic shape any container. Uh -huh. Right. It is enough to your question. So, uh, the layer technique. At this time, uh, Dr. Lee, Ted Lee, used uh, Austin 3 alloplastic materials. If you want to round the shape ice, you must put some water, round the shape bowl or cup because all the powder type graft material is slipping down. Yeah, he is going to uh, the suture knot, make a suture oh, knot oh. Uh, using a uh, vertical matrix suture. Yeah, he is using uh, Horizontal mattress Line suture division. and vertical mattress suture, and the finally, all the all the incision areas are close each other uh, using this uh, very nice suture technique. Uh, he used a monofilament uh, suture material. Nylon. This. 16. No, no, no. Wait. 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 Now he is using a nylon suture material. So this time uh, we we can see the graft material about osteon 3 collagen, alloplastic materials. And sometimes uh, the layer technique may be like a, another name is sandwich technique, layer technique. I the same 
as well uh, use autogenous bone inside an outer portion, the alloplastic portion. The outer, uh, outer portion of alloplastic graft materials gave us uh, the volume, a stable volume, and the inner portion of autogenous bone gave us uh, good urban formation activities, right? So, uh, both so of activities uh, can be movable. get uh, for this uh, layer three. technique. Okay. I prefer uh, this kind of technique, but uh, today Dr. Lee used uh, alloplastic materials. Uh, very nice, very nice, uh, very important. Why he used uh, this alloplastic material only? Because of already uh, all of these uh, the socket areas, the partially healed uh, situation. So he uh, doesn't need, he didn't need any more okay. another graft materials. Try again. Okay, so finally he is going to try the finishing line with a, a suture, the vertical incision line on this uh, the canine area. You can hold your suture needle like this one. Mm -hmm. For penetrating, penetrating this area. Okay. He want to show us very interesting uh, suture technique. Okay, inside uh, this number uh, twelve area, and the outside number middle part of. Uh, canine and another uh, insertion the, from this uh, distal portion of canine and the suture making a suture knot. So more powerful the holding one more by uh, this suture technique. Uh, he is trying another. He is trying again. He is trying again cause of the Okay, insertion, okay, he want to make, a, he want to make a simple interrupted, uh, yeah, simple interrupted suture, right? Yeah. Now he is uh, yeah. going to use a simple interrupted suture, okay. Good. Very nice. Yeah. So as you know, uh, I want to say about this three-positional implant insert, uh, uh, three-positional implant insertion installation. Uh, I uh, first of all, I already uh, explained to you about the vertical depths, the three millimeter from the uh, navel teeth CJ and the major distally uh, uh, 1.5 millimeter minimum from uh, neighbor natural teeth and between implant picture platform to platform 3 millimeter should be separated for the interceptor bone uh, preserving right so about the labial bone plate what about the labial bone plate according to dr hamlet dr hamlet from swiss uh, he recommended us 2 millimeter uh, from the outer portion of implant fixture, when you have uh, a branchial aesthetic area, uh, should be kept because of uh, this bone area is guaranteed to us uh, long term stable the soft tissue and hard tissue situation. One right? More. So, uh, when you have a GBR procedure like this situation, we have uh, always, always considered about this Dr. Hamley's uh, principle 2 millimeter minimum. Uh, from the out the portion of implant fixture, so uh, like this, uh, the inner widths, uh, socket areas, it is uh, not too difficult, but uh -huh. the non-contained non defect or two or one or a defect is uh, very difficult to make uh, newborn formation out the portion of implant two millimeter as you know, so. We have to consider, okay. we have to try 
always make a, uh, this two millimeter uh, different formation on top the lateral portion of the uh, implant picture as well. Uh, this uh, this effort this effort make it better, right? Uh, make final processes is better. Good. So uh, always gave us a good aesthetic result, right? So in this case, actually, as you can see, this patient have a deep bite. So final laceration is uh, 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 should be uh, cemented type, right? Okay, so finally, we have done all the sutures around this, the surgery site area, right? So, uh, he tried to, uh, uh, today's key point was uh, using GBR plate. How can I connect with the GBR plate with a fixture? How can I use this uh, GBR abutment? GBR abutment okay. with the uh, uh, fixture and the titanium mesh. Yeah. Uh, this is a key point at in the today's live surgery. So, uh, one uh, lesson point. So another one is tunneling technique, as you can see. So, we very useful it. to uh, the surgery, augmentation I situation. Cut the panning area mm -hmm. about 2 millimeter. Okay. Up. The ready cut so the panning area two millimeter, uh, make I mean, give uh, space a give a space for the bone augmentation. If I see any mm -hmm. breaching area, we will I will cut the panning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Doctor Lee uh, recommend us if we can see the bleaching area when we connect with the panning after the surgery oh. Oh. Uh, should be cutting cause of relieving. Uh, he don't want, uh, yeah. he asking us, he recommend us, uh, don't there pressure no anymore underneath a uh, bone grafting site with uh, a panic or the some other temporary device. Bone augmentation surgery, there was okay. a gap mm -hmm. here. There okay. no gap. Uh, we can see the gap between the soft tissues so and a temporary provisional last laceration. One tip. After mm -hmm. peristalizing is done, mm -hmm. the patient maybe got a swelling, so mm -hmm. reduce the swelling. Mm -hmm. I will inject steroid. Yeah. What is called yeah, dexamethasone. Uh, hexa, yeah, yeah, dexamethasone. Thank you for watching. Yeah. See you. Okay. Well done, Dr. Lee. Thank you for your nice and surgery. great surgery. Uh, thank you very much. Well done. Okay. So, uh, okay, we have a, uh, okay, uh, we will be back in 10 minutes after break. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, uh, did you interested in this uh, today's uh, live surgery? Yeah, uh, very uh, interested. Uh, very interesting and uh, well done uh, for anterior aesthetic area surgery. Uh, we have uh, three, uh, another big question about uh, today's surgery. Number one, why did you not place collagen membrane in area of uh, number 22? So number 22 was already uh, implant installation area. So Dr. Lee don't want any more bone augmentation. So he want to just uh, have a, a augmentation, uh, the tissue augmentation area, right? So uh, first of all, we have to know augmentation procedure, augmentation procedure. So it means if you want to have 100, almost want to have a new bone formation, uh, procedure, we have to go to GBR procedure. But uh, sometimes we don't need 100% newborn formation at this site. We're changing to more simple procedure like uh, uh, augmentation uh, procedure. Augmentation procedures doesn't matter. Hard bone uh, tissues and soft tissues doesn't matter. 
So number 22 area, already installed implant areas, and just need more labial control augmentation, right? So uh, Dr. Lee uh, decided to just control augmentation is enough to make a, a better a final lustration. So you have to decide it, you know, control augmentation instead of a GBR procedure. So that is why he didn't use collagen membrane on number 22, right? So we have to understand, uh, we need to know uh, the, the difference between a GBR procedure and control augmentation procedure, right? Once more, control augmentation doesn't, uh, doesn't, doesn't matter if a 100% bone or a partially bone and another uh, soft tissues. So uh, that is uh, the why uh, doesn't need, didn't need collagen membrane on number 22 site. And uh, number two question, which type of provisional restoration do you plan? So the already uh, the made provisional restoration was uh, uh, the temporary cylinder connect with the provisional restoration uh, supported by number 22 installed areas in plan picture, right? So uh, finally, two panic, one connect uh, installed with uh, implant type, uh, three unit uh, temporary pro provisional restorations uh, will be uh, hold uh, this uh, site uh, during the healing situation, during the healing time. Uh, I, I think uh, it is enough uh, more uh, two, three, four months, it uh, doesn't matter, cause of this uh, resin restored, a uh, provisional restoration is enough strong uh, endure at this site. Number three, how to stabilize graft in tunneling technique uh, from Dr. Uh, Bastar? Yeah, very good question. Uh, tunneling technique is a better option when we have a lateral augmentation instead of vertical, right? Lateral augmentation, uh, control augmentation, it, that kind of uh, case, uh, we have to consider this, uh, <coughs> uh, sorry about that, this tunneling technique. So, uh, like an envelope, uh, let's think about envelope, right? Uh, one part, uh, make a vertical incision, like total envelope situation. So just to put the graft material into this envelope. And uh, this graft material is automatically holding uh, inside of this en envelope, right? So uh, Dr. Lee want to use, um, prefer to use uh, this graft material like Austin 3 collagen, uh, self-containing, uh, self-holding gra gra graft materials. Not, uh, it is not scattered and uh, the holding capacity is higher than uh, just grafted material, right? So Austin 3, Austin 3 block, Austin 3 collagen, uh, what is better? I think Austin 3 collagen is better uh, grafted material uh, for the envelope technique, okay? Number one, uh, envelope is better when we have a lateral augmentation. Number two, grafted material selection and uh, this hybrid type like Austin 3 collagen, right? So uh, automatically a holding situation goes up inside of the uh, envelope. Uh, Dr. Lee uh, doesn't need any more like additional holding suture. So just leave it into the envelope side. Just vertical incision, make a space, and put the grafting material inside uh, this uh, the envelope style. Uh, these spaces and the, just the suture and leave it. But that's it. A cause of uh, is it, it is enough, pro, enough procedure for making lateral uh, augmentation procedure, right? So let's move to um, the panoramic view after surgery. Okay, can you see this number uh, 11 site? Uh, very nice. Uh, a well-installed implant fixture, uh, good direction and parallel to already installed the number 22 site uh, implant fixture. And what about the depths? Implantation installed installation depths. 
Yeah, very, uh, very good. Cause uh, uh, I already mentioned about three millimeter in the CZ from neighbor natural tears, right? So uh, very nice and well done. The proper position and vertical. And what about the mesial distally? Cause of number twenty one uh, will be a panic area. So it doesn't matter any uh, consideration of uh, mesial distal uh, position, but the uh, number. Uh, 12 areas, lateral incisor, uh, should be avoid 1.5, right? So minimum 1.5 millimeter from this uh, neighbor natural teeth root surface uh, should be installed. Implant fixture, it's very nice, well done. And uh, after maybe five, six months later, uh, we can see very nice, well done, new forming bone around this uh, surgery area, and also we can uh, see the final illustrations are very nice, soft tissues healing site with the uh, uh, contour uh, augmentation site, right? Okay, uh, thank you very much and uh, joining us. Okay, next live surgery uh, will be held, uh, planned by uh, Dentium, uh, uh, July 3rd, uh, 2020, the same time. Right? I'll see you uh, this time. See you next time. Thank you. Bye.